this escalated quite a bit. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Well, we're back at it. Yeah. As I said in a previous video, we didn't lose the roof in the 60 mile an hour gusts. Got parts ordered for this. So this is gonna be perfect. So tire, still mint. Trailer, we're gonna, well, after the farm show, we're gonna pick a pump up, so and a nurse boom so that's gonna be coming up on that but we're gonna dive in and see what we got to do to take off the nurse boom on this one so we can fab up a new one because i do believe we will be doing some nursing this spring so transferring into another tanker another 5,000 gallon tanker it's it's a 53 or something so we got to get some wrenches the gun and we'll take that off um and then we'll just have to measure it and fab it up i guess i should get it over a little tighter because when i'm on the top the roof is a little close so we'll pull all this stuff over and we'll get this started and move it over that way i'm not hitting my head as i'm trying to take it off or bumping into the side panel into the side of the actual roof it's good we put this on blocks because it does allow for some extra ability to work on things that are taller because if well you can see the nurse part is actually like a foot away so this this tanks a lot shorter which is nice I like it short we'll be able to uh, see what we're doing more the whole reason I moved everything over so that I had a little bit more space to work on there because if I drop that off by accident and I uh, scrape it down the side things are probably not gonna go good but let me jump up there and uh, we'll take that off this is why we're taking it off as you can see there's there's holes this tank never got washed when we got done the temperatures but we got a weld a little bit on, let me show you, right here, because it moves around in there. So we gotta reinforce that, that bracket. I hate that this thing's dirty right now. Um, and we gotta put a new boom on it. So it's got holes in it. And when you're pumping pretty heavy manure, Granted, that got way worse at the end of the season this year. But when you're pumping pretty heavy manure, it really doesn't leak much out of those. It kind of seals itself up. But the second you get to some liquid stuff, it goes everywhere. So 
We'll switch this out. It gets thin um, as you pump manure through it. Just wears stuff out. But I got up here and I got the wrong size. And honestly, those look like they're welded to it. They might have just painted over it. So we're going to have to, we might end up having to cut these all off. Which is less than ideal. And if that's the case, we're going to pull this all the way out and cut it off with the plasma cutter. Might be a better bet of what we're going to do. Figured the best idea was pull the plasma cutter over here. Get up there, cut them off. No point in fighting them with a ratchet and socket and the gun and when we know it's just gonna fight us the whole time so yeah pulled it out look at how much room for activities in here figures i pull it outside and it is uh well it's snowing this will be quick Okay, lock tight, or lock bolts. Yeah. Got them all out. We might have to punch them through, and it might be stuck together. I'm thinking we gotta punch them through. Some of them started coming through. They were pretty well shot. So this tank was painted over who knows how many times, but that definitely helped it stay as good as it did on the outside. Yeah, that works as a punch. Get one out, work my way around. So they're all out. They're all loose now. I'll just finish it up. It does look like the seal broke off. We got a gap between it, so hopefully it slides right apart. We don't have to battle that. I was worried about that, that it wouldn't actually split itself. It's been on there a long time. <sighs> yeah. Well then. I have to get a chisel in there and try breaking it apart. Splitting it down in between. Got some chisels. That's really on there, huh? I was hoping this would actually go halfway smooth. <laughs> Why would I ever think that, right? Look at what I got going on. I got a freaking gap that you can stick your finger in and it still won't come apart. Like, it's fighting me every inch of it. Probably should have just cut this right off and seen what's inside. <sighs> well, I guess we'll actually, I don't know. I just realized what's going on. There's a sleeve that goes up to there. I'm hammering it through. So it's all rusted together. <sighs> so this is going to take a little more fab work than I thought. Because this is supposed to slide right out. Now I can see there's a gasket and everything else. I texted Bradley Hill, who uh, I actually bought this tank off Hills. It was a Whitney's tank. 
and uh, they actually still have two of these at Hills. Um, and he said they cut theirs back further. Well, I could just take this whole thing off. Um, and we can cut that out and run a whole pipe up. Because by the time we wear this pipe out again, it'll be a long time from now. Solving this off, we'll take the bolts out and slide this whole thing off. Just strip this one off. That one's a different size. One underneath. We're just going to plasma cut it, call it good. I'm getting tired. It's freaking actually snowing. Like the ground's getting white, so not ideal. We're gonna replace this because we're gonna have to have it all apart. So there's no point in having, taking it apart and putting an old one back on. So don't worry about that. So then we got less to work with and ooh. When it slid off, I was worried about the plasma cutter. So yeah, there's got yeah, there's a pipe inside of it that it was sitting on. So we're gonna build this out of some thicker steel. <sighs> Starting here up. So once we get this off, we'll make our lives way easier. But I'll finish cutting these bolts off and cut the one on the bottom. Even though I got it cut out, so this one is not in there any longer, as you see. Got these cut. Got all of it cut off the head right there. I cannot get that to turn. The bolt is actually welded to this outer one. So I'm gonna have to keep cutting it, which I, now I have nothing to grab it with. And it's blizzarding. Yeah. I wish I was back in there, but I'm glad I'm out here because I'm blowing hot metal everywhere. Ah, it's a little too big. life left in this bolt? I don't know. Can you guys see that? No, you can't. There you go. You think there was much left in there? That's good. No wonder we had so much slop going up and down. Yeah, this snow that just came through and, you know, just made everything wet and nasty. Well, it also made the top of this really slippery. So uh, let's try not to fall off this while we finish this project up. Definitely a lot better now. So we got everything out. Yeah, as you can see, right there has a hole. So at some point that was going to give me a problem. But I'll cut the back and we'll see if we can slide it right out. There's the pin that wouldn't come out of there. But we'll just clean those out. Maybe we'll put a little nub and put some grease on them. Yeah. Some rubber and burning cow manure. Good odors. <sighs> yeah. Okay. 
This side still looks like it's got some life left in it. So, yeah, as you see, it fell off the other end. So, this will still be good. Um, yeah, so these, we'll just have to drill them out so they're clean, put new bolts in it. This, I see the hydraulic line's leaking a little bit, but that actually looks pretty good. It used to be when you uh, gave it full throttle, it would pick up a little bit, but that pin being junk, that actually might have some wear. I think down there has the most wear. Yeah, it's, uh, it's down there that, because the pin was tight in there. So, alrighty, I'll clean my mess up here, and then we'll get this... I don't know. I thought about putting the 7520 in, but I guess I gotta go to dinner. Well, I don't have to go to dinner, but my sister and her husband invited me to dinner. So I figured, yeah, might as well. Um, so we'll probably just back this back in, but we do gotta measure if the 7520 will fit through this, or if we gotta take those posts off to fit it through. And then we can start working on pulling that front axle out because we got to put new bushings in it We've talked about it in previous videos when we get there. I'll explain more, but the front axle is coming out of that um, I know it needs the reverse gear But I don't think we're gonna use very much reverse in the spring So that might be a summer project just because of time commitments and things like that. We'll see how the we'll see how it goes but. Yeah, let me get all my little stuff picked up. My hands are freezing. It's pretty freaking cold out. That snow really messed things up here. And then, uh, yeah, so that's better. Yeah, this is probably going to be easier to build with that off of it. And we'll just get everything that we need from that. Um, I might price see if we'll, but I think it, it's probably going to be stupid money. So, I don't know, we're going farm show, so maybe I'll talk to the guys out at the farm show and see what they got. This is a six inch, a lot of people have gone to an eight inch. Um, the boom we're getting for that, the pump and boom, are all eight inch, so that will unload faster, which will be cool. I'll, I like that. a long time there's the pin that wouldn't come out so you can see all the wear so this is good that's good I didn't think it was that bad as far as some of these pins but you can see here's the hole that I was looking at and I said oh there's not a lot of life you can see through the bottom let me flip it up for you guys yep. here's the other side up in the bottom so Ooh, yep Never mind the boom. Once I started pounding all the metal and flake and stuff off, big holes, big holes, big holes. So, which is good. Because I do believe we are going to nurse some manure for people other than um, my family. Which means we want to make sure we're on point. And uh, I think other than, yeah, that, that's, that's about it. So once we do that, if we're nursing, we don't move the valve here. So we'll get a hydraulic line made for that one that's leaking up front. You put the cap on so you don't spread on the road because we've done that before and then the police show up. You're sitting on the side of the You're sitting on the side of the road and this does Okay. I never even filmed this day and I wish I did. So uh, we were spreading with the tanker and we were spreading a far hay field. It was off the side of the road So I had to pull up on the wrong side of the road and I'm sitting there I'm pumping manure and cars are going by like middle of the day. Nothing too crazy and it was back when I didn't do the daily videos and So I was spreading in hay fields, but I can't make it into that field because it dips down The semi would be on its side, you know things you don't want to do so the, the tractor tanker was sitting there and I was filling it 
And all of a sudden I look out my passenger side mirror and the friggin' spread plates going and there's manure going all over the road. So it had creeped open. I'm not really sure how. I don't know if I hit it or something, but it had, it had opened up. So this was spreading on the road and I was pumping a little bit to the tanker, but that's the easier pass path. So less resistance. So it's coming out that plate. And uh, I was like, damn. So I called my brother because I knew he was at the farm and he came down with the loader, some sawdust. So we swept the road, we cleaned it, we swept it again. And so the tractor and the loader were headed back one way and I had to go up, make a loop, come back down. So I was headed another way back. My brother called me and said, hey, the cop stopped us. I'm like, we're friends with the cops in town. So I'm like, well, great. And he's like, no, they're giving us a hard time. And it was a new cop in town that was trying to make a name for himself. My brother had already got into it with him. My brother was stopped on the side of the road with his mowing trailer at a guy who's lived in town for the last 60 years, um, his whole life. And he does a lot of work in the town. And the cop was giving my brother and the guy some hard time. So we got, we got over that. We're okay now. But yeah, the cops made us go back and clean it again. So, and it looked the same. So somebody had called this in. But the second manure hits the road, it just, it stains it till you get a lot of water flow across it, even if you pick it up. Well, yeah, so that's why you cap it if you know you're gonna be only nursing manure, because it's uh, it's never good when it opens up. But, alrighty, we'll get this set up, figured out. We'll reuse this frame. We gotta weld that shot. Um, well, not shot, but welded, and then we'll re-drill them all. Same with, we'll make sure these are all drilled out. We'll see about putting grease fitting. That would make our lives easier. Well, on the other end. We'll build the pipe, and this tanker should be good. Um, if we're nursing, like I've said before, these floater tires are going to come off. And uh, these are for the Mac. Spares for the 10-wheeler. So... These tires are gonna go on um, for road running. They're 11R 22.5s. So this truck had 10, uh, 10 20s, 10 by 20s on it, but a 20 rim is actually a 22.5 of the new style. So floaters went on and we haven't looked back since. Same with the trailer had 10 by 20s and we got these, these bad boys um for a couple boxes of bud light so eight, eight of them for like five boxes of bud light or something like that and that side they're not that great but this side has a lot of tread left in them so but they're trailer tires so all right got everything i'm about done with this cold weather freaking sun's coming out now though just about leaving and I remember I never measured the 7520 I gotta go shower otherwise I'm gonna be late for dinner so I guess you guys will have to stay tuned for the next one and we will see we'll probably get that thing in there either way but uh be cool if when the front is actually on if that will fit in it for days when it's raining that we got to bring a tillage implement in or something and we got to work on that or service it so yeah, give the channel a subscribe if you haven't done so. Like the videos. Um, remember, black short sleeve t-shirts are 10% off until March 6th. And don't forget, anybody orders over $50 will get their name on a planter box. So just to show you guys, appreciate it. So, alrighty, I'll see you guys on the next one. 
Yanko did get a new collar too, so he lost his other one. But appreciate you guys and see you on the next one.